Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we're going to answer one of your most asked questions regarding the CSINET examination. And that is the difference between CSIR GRF and UGC GRF. What's the difference? So many students ask me like, uh, we got a particular mark. See, one thing is clear. If you appear in CSINET examination, if you get a score beyond a particular cutoff, then you'll be given that particular fellowship. So for example, we are talking about CSI and Net LS GRF both together. It's a combined examination. Let's say the cutoff for LS is 100. If you get more than 100, you'll be given lectureship. And let's say the cutoff for GRF is 120. If you get more than 120, you'll be given GRF fellowship. Now, once a GRF fellowship is given, let's say you get beyond the cutoff, that is 120. So good thing. Congratulations. You get CSI and Net GRF. Now in this GRF category, there are two categories. The GRF award, it can be awarded by UGC called UGC GRF and the GRF award, it can be provided by CSIR called CSIR GRF. Now that is generally uh, dictated and written in the actual final merit list that CSIR published. There you can see your roll number and next to it either UGC GRF or CSIR GRF. Now the thing is UGC or CSIR GRF, what's the difference between the two? As I told you, it's the exam CSIR UGC net in all the science stream subjects conducted by CSIR and UGC jointly. Actually, the exam is now conducted by NTA in the online mode, but the funding is, will be provided by CSIR or UGC. So UGC GRF, if you get UGC GRF, your stipend for every single month, once you join in PhD for five years per month, 30,000 rupees with HRA will be provided by uh, uh, UGC. If you get UGC GRF, if you get CSIR GRF, then CSIR is going to provide that same 31,000 rupees plus HRA for the five years. Uh, for the first two years and then it will increase a little bit as a SRF later on for both. So the price scheme is the same. The salary offered by UGC and GRF are the same. The only difference is that governing body. UGC is under the UGC's control. UGC GRF is under the governing body of UGC. And CSIR GRF is under the control of CSIR. So that's how it's done. That's the only difference. Rest all are same. So many students ask me like, sir, is it uh, not that credible to get UGC GRF compared to CSIR GRF? See, CSIR GRF is always considered as more prestigious because earlier some institutes in India, they only want CSIR fellows, not UGC fellows. I really didn't uh, get that idea earlier. Still, I'm not getting the idea because the thing is, it's not in your hand. Okay, so it's not told or it's not written anywhere that only those who get f higher marks are going to get CSI GRF than those who are getting little lower marks but beyond the cutoff of GRF will be given UGC GRF. No, not at all. They don't put it like this. You know, your score, maybe you get 125, you get CSI GRF and someone's getting 136 is getting UGC GRF. It's kind of possible and it's true. You can check your uh, colleagues and friends that this is very common instance. So in this case, it's not necessarily that if somebody is getting more, will be getting CSI GRF. Somebody is getting less, is getting uh, UGC GRF. No, not at all like that. They, I don't know what formula they used to put and, and select uh, students based on UGC or CSIR as their dedicated part of salary provider but i think it's kind of random and in randomness it's not in your hand so don't bother about it whether your salary will be provided by uh, ugc or salary will be provided by csir doesn't matter because ultimately you're going to get the same salary from both ends but yes one thing true that still if uh, the discrimination is done based on csir or ugc as your fellowship uh, in your lab then that's not good in that case you should show them that this is not in your hand even if you got good marks, higher marks, still you can be given UGC GRF. So I think this discrimination must be ended. And second thing that I believe, second thing that I believe, which is very important, is that uh, the, in this, uh, in between the CSIR GRF and UGC GRF, uh, in many cases, the, as the governing bodies are different, the way they work is little different. So what I found out at our times earlier, uh, that people who are under the UGC GRF tend to get salaries much more delayed than CSR. CSR processes salary faster than UGC. It happened in many cases. So it depends on the governing body, it depends on how they work, how they control, how they provide the fees. That's totally separate deal. But as per the rule, there's no difference between CSR GRF and UGC GRF. Same salary you'll be receiving and it must not give you any discrimination. Okay. So that's all about the difference between CSR GRF and UGC GRF. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. And one more thing, if you haven't qualified for CSR and examination, don't worry because we are there to help you out. Our videos are helping you out, we believe. If that's the truth, then you can join our CSR Net online coaching. And the coaching is for six months. The validity is for two years. All the details of the coaching you can get 
and in the description also see the phone number that is here in the in this video you can whatsapp this number to get all the details thank you bye